everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do a makeup tutorial and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put on my makeup in the style of the 50s, the 1950s. So I tried to do my hair, do my jewelry. I've already done my skincare and my primer. So let's get started. In today's video I will be telling you what I'm doing. So first, um, I'm going to use uh, a good foundation, a matte foundation is what they use. They did not have that um, luminous look back then. It was the dewy look. It was a matte look. So I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. My color is in 2C4, which is Ivory Rose. Now, I also picked this because it's a little lighter. Um, the tan look wasn't really in back in the 50s for ladies. Um, so, I'm going to use this lighter shade just to make the skin a little lighter. Okay, there we go. It looks really light. <laughs> but, um, that's kind of what I was going for. This is more my winter shade. So, next I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer uh, under my eyes. And I'm also going to use my concealer. I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Light 12. That's the shade I'm using. Um, I'm also going to be putting this where I want highlights as well. I'm using my damp sponge and I'm just going to pat it in and on my cheeks. The reason I'm doing my highlight like this is because shiny highlighters was not in style in the 50s. Like I said, they were going more for a matte look. I'm going to take my powder and get this all set. Now, normally I don't set my entire face, but today I am. I want to make sure matte and I like to put my powder on with a damp sponge and press it in for older people us more mature ladies it helps with uh, keeping our makeup in place it helps uh, using the damp sponge and pressing it in uh, it helps actually with uh, the sign of wrinkles that your wrinkles won't show is bad so I'm going to press this all in real good. There we go. Now I am going to do my contour. Now you're probably thinking, oh, they didn't do contour. They, they have been, people have been contouring their faces for as long as there's been makeup. It's just to create shadows in uh, lights and dark areas on our face. So our face will look better. So I'm going to stick, I use my Kat Von D and I'm going to go ahead and use the colors I usually use and I'm going to contour under my chin and I'm going to contour my cheeks. I put it under the cheekbone to make my cheekbone stand out. It makes my face look slimmer. Go. and the ends of my nose there we go now I'm going to do my eyebrows back in the 50s I'm gonna zoom you in a little okay back in the 50s they uh, ladies made the brows more pointy than arched round so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm going to use my um, IT Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. First, I'm just going to brush my, my eyebrows and then let's fill them in.
Okay, there we go. I think they look pretty good. Now, on my eyes, first I'm going to put my primer on my eyes. My eyeshadow primer. I use the MAC Paint Pot, and I'm using today the Soft Ochre. But any kind of eyeshadow primer, it does make a difference. If you don't have an eyeshadow primer, use concealer. Now, I'm using an old palette. This is the Tarte Icy Bitch palette. One, I'm using it because in my, if you guys are regulars, I have the Pretty Random app pick my palettes for the month. And this just happens to be the palette I need to use this week. But also because it's blues. And they wore blue back in the, um, back in the day. So, I'm going to start with this white. And I'm going to set my prime my eyeshadow primer with it. I'm going to put it all the way up to the brow bone. Now, on the lid, I am going to use I'm going to start with this light blue and see how it looks. Grab that on my brush, and I'm going to put it right on my lid. Now, I can already tell it's going to be too light, but let's put this all over. There we go. I'm going to go in now with this blue, and I'm going over top of that lighter shade because it was just too light. There we go. I'm going to use the other end. This is a dual ended brush and I'm going to blend these edges here just to get a little blue up. Now for me, I think I need a little something else. I'm going to go into another blue. I'm going into this bright blue here and just add a little on my lid as well just to give me a little more blue shade. And then what's left in my brush, I'm going into the crease with it. I'm going to attempt to do a wing liner, a more like a cat eye. I am going to use a pencil instead of uh, gel or instead of a felt marker because I just feel like I can get more control from this pencil. I use my uh, roller lash by Benefit. Now I am just applying mascara to the upper lash line. They did not, they, the ladies in the 50s did not do anything with the lower part of their eyes. They did not uh, put mascara, they didn't do liner. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, now. put some lashes on. I've never done this on camera either. So. When you get your lash, you need to like kind of move it around a little bit, loosen it up. And I'm going to measure. I think I'm good. I don't think I need to cut that. To get my glue. Okay, here we go. Can you see? Okay. 
these are some big lashes. <laughs> Let's do the other side. Okay, now I'm going to put my blush on. I'm not going to do any kind of um, bronzing because they didn't bronze back then. And I'm going to use this color Dandelion by uh, Benefit. It's a nice soft pink my brush. Now I'm just going to focus it on the apples of my cheeks and you know kind of spread it back a little. Just kind of when you take your brush just kind of flip it back. Because they wore the, the color basically on the apples of their cheeks. All right, and then last, I am going to add a lipstick. And the lipstick I chose today is one from, I think it's actually from 1961, but we'll go with it. This might be a 50s going into the 60s look. Um, I'm going to use Pink in the Afternoon by Revlon. All right, and there we go, that's my look. Let me zoom you back some more. There we go, that's my look from the 50s and I lost an earring. Ah, what a video. Okay guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. Any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.